It's June 14th here in Virginia Beach, and I'm headed out of Lynn Haven Inlet to the Chesapeake Light Tower with Brad, Justin, and Vernon. The spade fish have showed up on the tower, and I'm going to talk with Justin about how you at home can come out here and target these fish. We're going to go over the rods, reels, tactics, and baits you need to use, so stay tuned, and hopefully we get on some nice fish. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one, Brad. That's a nice one. Woo! I was in the cooler for him. spade fishing. Our basic rig right now is just a simple, I don't know, about four feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon, number two Gamagatsu, red hook. Put two split shots right next to the swivel. You just use a small swivel, like a 40 to 70 pound swivel, and we have 30 pound braid, and just put a bobber over the bobber stop. You see the bobber stop right there. We like, today we're fishing about eight to 12 feet under the surface. Seems to be the magic number. Every day is different. Easiest way to find them is just mark them on your depth finder and adjust accordingly. So just, this is a chowder clam we just busted in half. The way I like to do it is cut a little piece just straight in half, just like that. The favorite part of the, the spade fish's favorite part is that soft, really soft part. The foot is just kind of there to help hold your bait on. What I like to do is put them through and actually push it over the eye of the hook and then hook your bait into the soft part. So when it does pull tight, it all lays nice and streamlined just like that. And then the spade fish comes up and grabs it. So our go-to spade fish rod would be a Terramar Inshore Series. This is a 7.6 medium heavy. We fish it with a Stratic 4000. We like the Stratics because you can tell these things rip off a lot of drag. It's nice and smooth. That's definitely the real choice for these. So these rods and reels are tried and true at Ocean's East. They're one of our favorites. Basically any age can come out here and do it. So when spade fishing, you can go as light as a 2500 and probably as big as about a 5000, but the 4000 seems to be perfect in this size reel. As far as a rod, I like a little longer rod when spade fishing because you do have a little bit of a leader. Again, spade fishing is not over sophisticated. It's pretty simple overall. It's just sometimes the hardest part is getting the boat in the right spot. All right, I'm getting bit right here. Easy as that. Just let the bobber go down and get tight. Nothing to do it but to do it. See why you like the Stratic. Really burns some wine off. We're also using 30 pound Power Pro on these Stratix. Makes it easy for casting, real smooth. The leader's 20 pound fluorocarbon. Seems to really get the bite, especially when they get finickier. If they get really finicky, you can even go down to 15. But today we're using 20, it's working. It's a nice spade fish. Is that a decent one? There you go. <laughs> All right. We 
had a great day out here on the water today at the Chesapeake Light Tower. We had Brad, Justin, and Vernon on the boat. We ended up getting on a nice spade fish bite. If you're interested in coming out here and catching some of these spades and getting rigged up for your next day on the water, make sure to stop into Ocean's East. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our socials. We'll see you next time. Thank you.